donuts. Don't worry, this won't take long. Das sollte ich schnell verstecken. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. <laughs> Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Anything I can help with? See, I told you he'd be cooperative. Agent Blake thought you'd be cagey, defensive, based on your history. Guess he was wrong. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're not attracted to me any more than the average citizen. We live in one of the most dangerous cities in the world, right? Stands to reason I'd run into a few psychos. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. Naja, so weit ich nicht gehen. You two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I was... I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, okay. It sounds like you two were pretty close to me. I did not agree to that. <laughs> Why would he write down my name? It's obvious. You're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. Every association you've made so far has been investigated by the authorities or covered by the press. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> All you do is hide. Hide behind the press, behind your money, your power. I think it's all an elaborate mask. You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe Boah, you're not the hero people think you are. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Ich kann schon aufdringlich die gute. 
Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. You just hold tight, Lucius. I'm coming down to help. It's too late for that. No, I Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius? What? Yes. really made a difference, didn't we? Batman? Nine. Lucius! Nö. Nicht Lucis. One killed and 14 injured after a tragic explosion. The GCPD is opening an investigation into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wynn Enterprises Chief Technology Officer Lucius Fox died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. Nö. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Lucius. Tiffany. I'm gonna take care of your family. As if they were my own. Just like Lucius took care of you. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was one thing. But this... This is personal. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations. And tore a family apart in the process. Don't worry, Al. I will find him. And bring him to justice. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars. I'm glad to see your sense of duty still reigns supreme. Of course, it won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be to lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She can use all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. That, uh, sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain my little brother was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. There were so many things I wanted to talk to him about. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, I hope it was worth it. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. There, there was a 
hardly anything left. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It, it doesn't quite add up. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hi, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Did you put my father's life at risk for that? I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I will shout it to the world. Ouch. Warum hassen mich immer alle, die ich mag? <lacht> so sorry, really. It's, it's such a shame. At least he um. went out with a bang, right? <lacht> Oh nein. For that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father. Well, no, but judging by... Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again, didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, I got you a little something just, just to mark the occasion. Uh. Okay. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. You do realize you don't give these at funerals, right? Of course you don't. It's okay. It's okay. Just keep it down. Gotta be quiet as church mice, right? It hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's, it's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? How did you get out? Oh my god, did you escape? <laughs> Didn't have to. Dr. Leland signed the papers herself. She always had a soft spot for me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. You know, you, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. I'm sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're you're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I never made that promise. I got into a lot of trouble for what we did, Bruce. You saw that place, saw those doctors. A vital link in our chain has left us. Matthew tells us 
You see, I met some inspiring people out here, made some new friends, made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce, that special breed who live by their own rules. They remind me of you, of your father. So who are they? You'll find out when you meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you you will meet them for me, won't you? Please, I've I've got a lot writing on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. Not a chance, John. I don't know what you're mixed up in, but I am not getting involved. Ooh, disappointing. <laughs> You know, I spoke so highly of you. I told them you'd fit right in. It just makes me want, I don't know, lash out. Shh. 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 Oh, God. We're here to mourn. Please, use us me again. You'll be mourning the loss of your teeth. Oh, easy, easy, John. Take a deep breath, okay? Calm down. You're right. Hmm. Sorry, Bruce, that outburst, it, it's antisocial, I know. Dr. Leland says I have a hard time handling rejection. I think it's the stress. You see, I've got this enemy. Real piece of work calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? Know him? I want to rip his eyeballs out. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's... He's rude. I tried to let the authorities know the kind of lowlife they're dealing with, but... Wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. So I shouldn't be surprised. If I ever get my hands on him, I will tear him apart. Oh, you don't know how glad that makes me, Bruce. You and me, we've got the same taste in people. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. You mean his hole? You know where he is. No, not, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I'm your friend, John. You can trust me. Uh, trust is the mainstay of any healthy relationship. I want that for us, Bruce. I really do. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. It'd be just like the old days. I would appreciate that, John. That's what friends are for, Bruce. Just meet mine later, like I ask. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just gonna slip away. Hmm. Excuse me. Sorry. It's, uh... It's been so nice catching up, Bruce. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Hmm. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Oh, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. 
Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail.